a quick recap of what we did. What are the subsidiary books? You have the cash book to record all cash transactions, cash and bank transactions. You have a purchase day book for credit purchase of goods, a sale day book for credit sale of goods, sale return book, a purchase return book. And everything else which does not fit into any of these subsidiary books would go into the journal proper, would go into the journal proper. What are the advantages of a subsidiary book? Basically, there is division of labor, maybe more specialization and more efficiency, all information with one kind of transaction in one place. And because to some extent, the, the work of posting is largely reduced, some duplication of work is avoided. Subsidiary book versus per principal book. Principal book of account is our ledger. All ledger accounts is the principal uh, principal book of accounts. And this also includes the cash book because we have not yet discussed the cash book. But the cash book is a ledger too. It is a journal because we first record it in the cash book. But it is also serves the purpose of a ledger. So that is a principal book, not really a subsidiary book. Subsidiary books, why are they called subsidiary books? They are subsidiary because the ledger accounts are prepared on the basis of these subsidiary books. The principal books of accounts are prepared based on the subsidiary books. Types of subsidiary books we have already done. How do we post? This becomes very essential. Mistakes should not be made. There is no debit or credit in our purchase day book, sales day book, purchase return book and sales return book. These books do not have debits and credits. It's understood that purchases account will always be debited. It is understood that the sales account would always be credited. Similarly, it's understood that sales return would always be debited and purchase return would be credited. So how is posting done? Periodic totals are taken. If it's a periodic total of the purchase day book, that is taken to the debit side of the purchase account individual supplier's account is then credited. Similarly, in case of a sales day book, the total is taken to the credit of the sales account in the ledger account. And the individual customer's account, they are debited. Similarly, with the sales return journal and the purchase return journal. Journal proper, we have already discussed. All other transactions are in the journal proper. We have discussed the amount of the way of preparing the same and the method of posting the same. <clears throat> With this, we will conclude our discussion on subsidiary books.